Brava Cedar Shake Installation Video Series Part 2 Valley and Rake Installation Valley Installation At valleys install underlayments a 36 inch strip of ice and water shield and valley flashing according to building code best practice and design specifications Flashing should extend 10 inches in each direction for slopes of 412 or greater and 14 inches for slopes less than 412. Closed valleys or open valleys may be used. 24 to 26 gauge corrosion resistant metal flashing is recommended. Two fasteners per shake are required at the locators. Do not place fasteners within 5 inches of center line. To avoid placing fasteners within 5 inches of the center line, placing fasteners elsewhere on the shake above the locators is acceptable. Do not place fasteners in the keyways or in any of the exposed areas. Ensure no fasteners are visible on the completed roof. Cut shakes before they are installed, dry fitting, and marking, ensuring straight even cuts for uniform installation up the valley. Installations use a randomized pattern of 5, 7, and 12 inch shakes. This may lead to a smaller than desired shake at the valley. Changing the layout by using different shake widths avoids using small cut shakes which are difficult to fasten. For closed valleys, a W valley flashing may be used with a 1.5 inch center crimp. Cut shakes flush to the center crimp. For open valleys, a W valley flashing may be used with a 1 inch center crimp. Leave a minimum 4 inch opening at the top of the valley. Open valleys can expose the structural ribbing at the cut edge. All field shakes have structural ribbing underneath and are manufactured in 5, 7, and 12 inch widths. It is recommended to use solid shakes at cut edges when they are visible. Solid shakes are manufactured in 12 inch widths. Cut solid shakes as needed along the open valley. This provides the best appearance and a natural aesthetic along the open valley. A double W valley with one and a half inch crimps may also be used with standard field shakes to cover exposed structural ribbing. Rake installation. Provide a one inch overhang at rake edges. Structural ribbing of standard field shake will be visible at the rake. A D-style flashing may be used to conceal the structural ribbing. Brava recommends using solid shakes at the rake for best appearance and a natural aesthetic. Solid shakes are manufactured in 12 inch widths. When starting each course, cut solid shakes to the desired width. Use cut solid shakes and full solid shakes at the rake placing the factory edge to the outside to create a natural and randomized appearance. The unused portion can often be used at the opposite rake edge. The varied pattern and solid underside produce the best appearance at rake edges. For more videos and information, visit us online at bravaroofstyle.com